Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. Most gas furnace repairs can be accomplished after only a few disassembly steps. But before you attempt this, you should turn off the power to the furnace and shut off the gas supply as well. To gain access to components like the igniter, high limit thermostat, and draft inducer fan motor, rotate the knobs securing the combustion chamber panel and pull the panel off. To replace the draft inducer fan motor, you should first detach the drain hose and the lower pressure switch hose from the motor housing. Use a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove the mounting screws to release the two pressure switches. Next, loosen the clamp to detach the exhaust vent pipe from the outlet port adapter. Lift up the pipe to gain access to the grounding wire mounting screw. Remove the screw to release the wire. If you are unable to access the mounting screw, you may need to cut the grounding wire. Next, disconnect the draft inducer motor wires. Use a quarter inch socket to remove the mounting screws securing the old draft inducer motor assembly. Pull the old assembly free. Replace the draft inducer motor assembly by aligning it on the condensate pan. Then replace the mounting screws to secure. Connect the motor wires. Secure the grounding wire to the burner housing. If you cut the old grounding wire earlier, you can simply attach the new grounding wire to a more accessible screw. Insert the exhaust vent pipe into the outlet port adapter and tighten the clamp to secure. Remove the cap and attach the drain hose to the appropriate port on the new adapter. Now position the pressure switches on the new draft inducer motor housing and secure with the mounting screws. Attach the lower pressure switch hose to the port on the housing. Reposition the combustion chamber panel and rotate the knobs to secure. To gain access to components like the control board or transformer, rotate the knobs securing the blower chamber panel and pull the panel off. If you need to access the blower assembly, loosen the screws to release the humidifier wires, if applicable. Note the orientation of the thermostat wires, then loosen the screws to detach them. If applicable, cut the control board wire harness tie to increase the slack. Now remove the screws securing the blower assembly support bracket and carefully slide the assembly out. To replace the blower assembly, align it on the support rails and slide it into position.
Replace the screws to secure the support bracket. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the control board wires. Reconnect the thermostat wires and tighten the screws to secure. Reconnect the humidifier wires, if applicable, and tighten the screws. Reposition the blower chamber panel and rotate the knobs to secure. With the furnace fully reassembled, turn the gas supply back on, along with the power, and your furnace should be ready for use.